G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel. The composite tutorial that I'm going to do for you is called Going Home. And you can see here, I've got all of these pictures that I'm going to use in this composite. All down here on the left hand side, all named and their layers. What we're gonna to do to start off with though, is click on the first layer, hold my shift key down and click on this second last layer here and just turn all those layers off. We're gonna start on this background cloud layer here. What I'll do is come up here to my selection brush tool, make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm gonna select all these clouds here all the way around. So what I'll do is come up here to select, come down to feather. I'm gonna feather that selection by three pixels and hit apply. I'm gonna make two copies. So I'm just gonna go command J, command J. So now I've got two copies of this selection here. So if I turn off background, you'll see I've just got two copies of that selection there. Let's get rid of our marching ants. On the top one here, I'm gonna come up to arrange and flip horizontal. So now I've got a lot more clouds. So I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is just merge those two together. So layer, merge, selected, just to make that into one layer. So I don't have lots of layers. What I'm going to do now is add the picture of the mountainscape here. I've already cut out the sky. It was a very sort of easy cutout and just stretched it along. And on that mountainscape, I'm going to drag it behind the two selections of those clouds that I just made and then just drag it up a little bit so we can see it. Just slot it in there behind those clouds, maybe down a little bit. It looks pretty good. And I've also got another mountain here, so I'll turn that one on as well. But before we do anything with this mountain, what I'm gonna do on this one is zoom all the way in. So we can see this peak here. And on that peak, I'm going to come over here to my liquify tool. I'm gonna to make sure the hardness is all the way down on zero and that I'm on this one here, the liquify push forward. I'm going to make my brush sort of quite big. And just on this, just the peak here, I'm just gonna push it in, start pushing it in a little bit. And then sort of up and sort of around, sort of, so that doesn't look too bad. So let's come over here and hit apply. While I still have my mountain, I'll come over here to my selection brush tool, smaller brush, and just select that piece of the mountain that we just manipulated with the liquify tool. Maybe a little bit too much. Hold my option key down. We don't need all of that. Just that section there. And I'm gonna make a copy of that section. So Command J, get rid of those marching ants. And on that copy, again, I'll come up to Arrange and flip horizontal. On my Move tool, I'll just move that over here. So it now it looks like those sort of mountains have got something to hold. So we'll just blend it in a little bit. So on the mountain, we'll add a mask. On my Brush tool, Bring my flow up to about 25%, should be pretty good. Make sure I'm on a soft brush. Make my brush a little bit smaller. And then we'll just sort of blend that mountain in so it looks a little bit better. Looks like it belongs there on that side. And it's gonna be a fair way away in the mountain so we don't have to worry too much. And that doesn't look too bad. Let's go Command Zero. So now that we've done that, I'll highlight both of those mountains that we've just done. Again, layer and merge selected. So again, we don't have too many layers going on. And what we'll do is we'll bring that one all the way underneath the mountainscape. Bring it up a little bit, just so they're sort of sticking out. So we've got our mountains in place. What we'll do is we'll add an exposure to each of those mountains. So on the mountainscape, let's add an exposure Clip that to the mountainscape. Let's bring that down a little bit. Fairly dark, about there. Now once you've created one exposure, you can click on another layer and then go to exposures again. But if since I've got that exposure there already, what I'll just do is copy it, Command J, and drag one down to the other mountain here. And I'll also do that for the clouds. So I'll just on that exposure again, Command J, and I'm just gonna drag one down to the background, make that background a, a lot darker. And again, I'm gonna do the same for the clouds. Command J, 
and just drag that onto the clouds. Now the clouds, we can brighten up a little bit. About there, I think. And then we can tweak all of these since they've got their all their own exposure layer, we can tweak them as we go. I want the mountains to be a little bit more blue as well. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. So on the background clouds, I'm gonna add a recolor. Clip that one to the clouds. And we're going to come into the blues. I'm going to bring down the saturation quite a bit. So we've got that bluey there. Okay, so you can see now that that recolor here, you can see the recolor adjustment. I can do the same again because I want that on the other layers as well. So Command J, bring one down onto the landscape, mountain landscape. Command J, bring one down onto the back mountain here and also on the background. Command J, onto the background. And the reason why I like each layer to have its own color and exposure layer is then I can go through and tweak them a little bit. So on the mountain landscape, I can bring that a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, add a little bit more blue or a bit of less blue. So that's not looking too bad. I'm pretty happy with the way that's looking at the moment. The next picture I'll bring in is my bridge here. So I've got this picture of a bridge. As usual, I've already cut this bridge out from the original picture and I'll have that available for you if you like on the Buy Me A Coffee site already cut out. As with this picture, I will link all of the original pictures below and you can go and grab those and do the cutouts yourself if you like as well. So let's just get that bridge in place. About there, I think looks pretty good. Again, with the bridge, I wanna add the exposure and the recolor as well. So what I'll do is just copy it from the layer below Add the recolor and also the exposure onto my bridge. With the recolor on the bridge, I might bring it up a little bit bluer, but what I'll do is I'll go Command I and just invert it so I can paint that in a little bit later. Also on the bridge, I'm going to add a mask. So down here onto the mask, get on my brush, still 25, I've got that soft brush, but I'll make my brush a lot bigger and I want the clouds or the bridge to disappear into those clouds here and we might make it so it's just going to disappear over the ridge here. Bring my flow down a little bit more to 10, change my color to white, maybe just get a little bit more of that bridge in. Blend it how you think, just if you want to see it a little bit. Okay, so we've got our bridge. Okay, the next picture that I'll bring in is the picture of my man and the dog. And again, this is two separate pictures which I've put together. Um, the originals, again, like I said, will be listed below or you can go to the Buy Me A Coffee site and get the ones already cut out. They're not the greatest quality on the cutouts, but they'll do the job. So. Once we've got that man in place, let's just place him where we want him. I think I like it with the bridge just over his shoulder there. Let's make a copy, Command J. On the second copy here, we'll come down to our special effects or layer effects and hit our color overlay, which will put a black color overlay onto that layer. Come up to arrange and hit flip vertical, drag that down. That's going to be our shadow on our man and our dog. I'll come down to the live filters and add a Gaussian blur. Just blur that ever so slightly. About like that looks okay. And that's our shadow on our man and our dog. We're also going to add an exposure. We can copy one from here or we can come down to exposure. Clip that to our man and make him a lot darker. Out like that looks pretty good. And also a recolor. I do want to do the same for the recolor as well on our man. Again, I could copy one from down here, but I've put one here into the blues again and maybe a little bit brighter. And on that one, that recolor for the man, I'm going to invert that as well because I'm going to paint that in a little bit later as well. With our man right on top, of our man. Let's add another pixel layer come over here to our brush. And this time I want quite a hard brush. So maybe a 
a very hard brush here. I want to paint in black. What I want to do is add like a wand or a, a long walking stick to my man here. So I'm just going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And I want it to come through his hand here. So down from the hand or about down here, I'm going to click once, hold my shift key down, and I want it to go maybe that tall. And there we go. So I've got that. Maybe that's the picture of the walking stick or the wand. And I'm going to add a mask. Grab my paintbrush, painting in black. Let's just zoom in, Command Plus. And what we want to do is just get rid of the bits right here. So it's looking like that's going to go through his hand and on the other side. So that doesn't look too bad. Now we've got our wand, we can bring in this other picture here that I call the magic, the picture of the magic. I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And again, I want to add a recolor to that as well. So I'll just take one from here, Command J, and just drag it on make that a bit blue. So on our magic lay here, you can see if we click off that, we've got some lines here. So what we're going to do is just click on that magic layer, come down here to the levels, clip the levels just to that layer, and just keep an eye on these lines here as we just move that black slider a little bit until those sort of lines disappear. What we can do now is just make that a bit smaller. Let's zoom into our man here. Bring those levels on top of the wand that we created. We'll just turn them around. Let's see if we can make them fit sort of onto this stick. What I might do, I'm on that layer. I'll come down here to the adjustments and come down here to mesh warp. Let's just warp that into place a little bit better. Click here and click here, and then I might just be able to just warp that section by itself. That's not too bad. Let's hit done on that. Zoom in a little bit more, and we want it to sort of look like it's wrapped around that sort of stick a little bit better. So I'll, I will put a mask on it. Come over here to my brush. Let's grab a soft brush this time. Make sure we're on that mask layer. Get our colors back by hitting D on the keyboard and let's just paint it out a little bit so we can see that stick all the way around. Let's swap our colors and make our brush a little bit smaller and then let's paint them in so they look like a little bit more going around that wand. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, Command-0. Now let's come and grab our dome now. So let's turn on this dome that we've got here. Grab our Move tool. That's going to sit in the middle of this mountain that we created, where we created this sort of little, like, two hands cradling the dome. We want to make it a little bit better, so we'll come up here to Filters, Distort, and Spherical here. Just bring this up, bring up the intensity, and you can see in the middle here it's starting to sort of form more of a sort of a globe. So then let's just push that all the way up. You can see it coming out here now. Stop when you sort of covers those gold bands that were on there and hit apply. Let's come back to filters and go repeat sphere here on top so we get a better looking globe. Let's make that a bit smaller and place it. Let's zoom in a little bit as well so we can sort of see. There looks pretty good. Let's come down here to our effects. Let's put a outer glow. So let's click on outer glow and let's make it that blue. And then let's bring up the radius a little bit so it got a bit of a blue glow on there. I've got some more to do on the dome yet but with that down here on the mountain that we created. Let's just come down here onto the exposure, grab our brush, make it fairly big, paint in black, and just make that exposure a bit brighter in the middle there. A little bit down the center. We'll do the same on the mountainscape while we're here, and then just add a little bit more light 
coming down that mountain. Command zero. If you think it's too much, drop the flow a little bit. Make our brush a little bit bigger. And we just maybe, maybe it was a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do with this globe also, let's click on the globe. I want to come over here to my selection brush. Make my brush a bit bigger. And I want to take it a little bit out of the middle of this globe. So a bit bigger. If I just clicked on the globe, it wouldn't make a circle, a very good circle. So let's get rid of that. Let's just make a circle over here. So a lot better. Come on to our move tool and move that into the middle of the globe. Let's come up here, make sure we're on that uh, the globe or the dome layer. Let's go edit, cut, edit, paste. And then let's just move that one up to the side here. Make it a little bit smaller maybe. And what I'm going to do with that is come over here to my smudge brush tool. Might make the strength about 40%. Make my brush a little bit bigger. Right in the middle. I'm just going to try and give it a bit of a tail so it looks like it's flying in. Okay, pretty happy with that. Let's work on our man now. So remember we put the exposure layer on here. Back on our brush little bit smaller. Switch our colors to black and let's highlight our man and our little dog. His head down this side, maybe a little bit on this side. We'll do the same with the recolor on our man as well because remember we inverted it so we can add, add some blue. We're painting in white for this blue and that's a little bit too much. So let's just Drop our flow a little bit, maybe to about 4% and add that blue in now. Okay, let's come to our bridge now and click on the exposure. We inverted that one as well, so we'll make our brush a little bit bigger. We'll add some light to each side. Okay, we'll also click on our recolor. This one will be painting in white. And we'll add some of that blue along here as well. And you can just tweak it as you like. Maybe back to the exposure. That one is painting in black. A little bit more along there. And on that bridge, I might just come on the mask as well. Just a hint of that bridge. Turn down the flow a little bit. Just a hint of that bridge coming out of the clouds there. So there we go. We can maybe darken the clouds a little bit. So our cloud layer. Maybe just darken those up a little bit. And I think that's not looking too bad. We can add our birds in now. So I've got these birds. Let's add these birds in. What's a picture without birds? Let's put them under the dome. So maybe they're at the back of the dome. So after our birds, we'll add our embers in. Nearly forgot about these embers here. Let's come up to our blend modes and hit screen. Again, we need the levels on there as again. So let's just clip those levels. And again, we'll just bring down that black level till we just can't see those edges. And we need the color as well. So I'll just grab this recolor from down here, add it to my embers. On this one, I'm just gonna grab my erase brush tool. Click on the embers, get rid of these ones down the bottom here. Make my brush a bit smaller, get rid of that. I'm just going to shape these embers a little bit, sort of maybe like that. Grab my move tool, make them a bit smaller, put them round the wand there. And just above again, what I think I will do is just Underneath the man, add a new pixel layer. Grab my brush. Really nice soft brush. The 
color I want is sort of a glowy, glowy blue. Might change the blend mode on that layer to glow. And just bring my flow down to about 10%. And just one click sort of where that wand is. Just a bit of a glow there. And I think we've turned on all of our layers. You can feel free to go and tweak anything that you like or add anything that you like. What I might do is just on the dome here, I've changed it to hard light. I might just bring the opacity down to about 60. Might do the same with that flying one. Bring it down to about 60. And I might even just give that a little turn, maybe about like that. What I might do is just highlight all of the layers now. Go up to layer and merge visible and come on to the develop persona. Let's come on basic first, add a bit of clarity, add a little bit of vibrance, maybe bring the exposure down a tad. Come over here onto details and just bring up the details a little bit and maybe add five percent of noise and hit develop. Let's have a look before after subtle subtle change but there you go everybody that is the composite that I call going home. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial for this composite. As I said I will have um, all of these photos that I've used listed below for you to grab if you want to give this composite a go. I'll also have the man and the dog and the mountain and the bridge already cut out for you on the Buy Me A Coffee site. Absolutely free. You can go over there and get those already cut out. So if you did enjoy the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.